Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn Math. In this session, we are going to solve the given radical equation. Step one in solution of radical equation is to isolate the radical. Now in this equation, we have three radicals and the form in which it is given is suitable for solving it. The second step in uh, solving radical equation is to raise the equation to the index of the radical. Index of radical here is two, this is a square root. So we will square both sides of the equation. Squaring both sides. x plus 7 plus square root x plus 2 whole square is equal to square root 6x plus 13 whole square. This square cancels with this square and for the left hand side we will use the formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we can write it x plus 7 square plus 2 into square root x plus 7 into square root x plus 2 plus b square x plus 2 whole square is equal to 6x plus 13. Now this square cancels out with square root. This square cancels out with square root. So we have x plus 7 plus 2 into x plus 7 multiplied with square root x plus 2 plus x plus 2 is equal to 6x plus 13. Now this x square adds up with this, sorry, this x adds up with this x. So we have 2x, 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 2 into the numbers under radical with the same index in multiplication can be written under a single radical in multiplication form. Now taking 2x plus 9 to the right hand side, so we have 2x plus, now multiply the term inside, x multiplied with x is x square, x multiplied with 2 is 2x, plus 7 multiplied with x is 7x, and 7 multiplied with 2 is 14 is equal to 6x, this 2x on the right hand side will be minus 2x plus 13 and this 9 on the right hand side will be minus 9. So we have 2 into square root x square 2x plus 7x is 9x plus 14 is equal to 4x plus 13 minus 9 is 4. Now we have 2 common on the right hand side. So taking out 2 is common. Two into 2x plus 2 2 cancels with this 2, so we have square root x square 
plus 9x plus 14 is equal to 2x plus 2. We still have a radical in the equation and the radical is already isolated. So we will square it again so that we can get rid of the radical in equation. So squaring both sides. x square plus 9x plus 14 whole square is equal to 2x plus 2 whole square. Square cancels out with the square root. So we have x square plus 9x plus 14 is equal to now we will use similar formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square for the right hand side. So we have 2x square plus 2 into 2x into 2 plus 2 square. So we have x square plus 9x plus 14, 2x square, 2x whole square will be 4x square, 2 multiplied with 2, 4 multiplied with 2, 8x, and square of 2 is 4. Now moving all the terms to right hand side, so we can write 0 is equal to 4x square minus x square plus 8x minus 9x plus 4 minus 14. 0 is equal to 4x square minus x square is 3x square. 8x minus 9x is minus x and 4 minus 14 is minus 10. Rearranging the equation so 3x square minus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now we will factorize this equation. The product of a and c is minus 30. We will split the coefficient of x which is b into two such numbers that the product is minus 30 and sum is minus 1. So the numbers are minus 6x plus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. The product of minus 6 and 5 is minus 30 and the sum of minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1. Now 3x is common in the first two terms. So we have x minus 2 plus 5 is common in the last two terms. So we are left with x minus 2 is equal to 0. x, plus, x minus 2 is common in both the terms. So taking out x minus 2 is common. We are left with 3x here and plus 5 here is equal to 0. Now, according to the zero product property, we can write that x minus 2 is equal to 0 or 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 2 or 3x is equal to minus 5 or x is equal to minus 5 by 3. These are the solution for the given radical. Now we will confirm the equation by inserting each solution into the equation and see if it is true or false. So when x is equal to 2, the equation is 2 plus 7 plus square root 
टू प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू टू प्लस थर्टीन टू प्लस सेवन नाइन स्क्वेर रूट टू प्लस टू फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड विद टू ट्वेल्व प्लस थर्टीन स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ नाइन इज थ्री स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फोर इज टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व प्लस थर्टीन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वी हैव थ्री प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फाइव सो इक्वेशन इज ट्रू फॉर x value is equal to 2 now when x is equal to minus 5 by 3 the equation will be minus 5 by 3 plus 7 square root minus 5 by 3 plus 2 square root is equal to 6 into minus 5 by 2 plus 13 square root so 3 is lcm we have minus 5 plus 21 square root plus this is 3 3 is lcm minus 5 Plus six square root is equal to six multiplied with five is minus thirty divided by three plus thirteen minus five plus twenty one is sixteen by three. Minus five plus six is one by three square root is equal to. Now three is LCM and three multiplied with thirteen is thirty nine. Minus thirty plus thirty nine divided by three. The three. Will cancel out with each other, so we have sixteen plus square root one is equal to and thirteen minus thirty minus thirty nine is nine. Now we can see that left hand side is not equal to the right hand side, so the equation is false. when we insert value x is equal to minus 5 by 3 so solution set of the given radical is x is equal to 2 hopefully this is easy to understand if you find the video helpful please like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever a math problem is solved thank you